Why don't we check the body condition score? We want to know from the individual cow. We don't want to know the average body condition score because that doesn't tell so much. We want to know is the cow too skinny or too fat? Both are bad. So let's look at this cow. This cow is a little bit too skinny. She's a two plus, two and a half, and two and a half is the low end of dairy cows. And below two and a half, they're not healthy anymore because they are just not so efficient. Um, they gave away too much meat. And this cow is a number four. And a, a number four cow means too fat. And what are the risks of fat cows? Well, a fat cow, she doesn't want to eat. So if you have her fat calving like this, if she's this fat at calving, she has a very bad starter. She doesn't like to eat, and also she doesn't calf easily. The bird canal is more fat and there's less space. So fat heifers and fat cows is a big threat for your dairy farm. The question is, what can you do to prevent the cows getting so fat? A very difficult task for the farmer. If you have a large farm, you can make groups. So late lactation cows can be a, a special group that you give less rich food. If you have one ration TMR for all the cows, it is quite tricky because you cannot steer very much and you really want an emphasis of cows getting pregnant in time. You want to really go 380 or 390 days calving interval, otherwise your cow is getting too fat and then you can't get them pregnant in the next lactation. So fat cows are sort of selecting themselves out. They don't survive to the next lactation. So preventing them to get fat start in the last 100 days of production then you have to make sure you don't feed them too much. In this case, on a robot farm, they just get less concentrate and they get a PMR fat on the feeding table and they, they don't have a chance to get fat. There's only a few cows in this barn, I only find three cows too fat. And that's because they had like um, abortion or they had six, seven uh, inseminations and they had some trouble to get pregnant. And that's why some of them are too fat. For the skinny cows, you have to do a perfect stress-free calving line. So make sure in the first week or two weeks they can start up easily. And uh, to have less skinny cows, it's also a major job to work on hoof health. And to make sure you have excellent bats. And that's where cow signals and hoof signals come around. And you want to have the feet, water, light, air, rest and space. You have to do all these six things right to keep cows healthy. Because skinny cows are telling you a story that they are not healthy. They just they're just wearing down from something that is bothering them. Very likely it's hoof disease or disease of the uterus, mastitis or ketosis. It's bothering the cow and that's why they are getting too skinny. So check your barn for skinny cows, check your barn for fat cows and look for the number three ideal condition score and then you're doing a great job. Thank you for watching. This was Cow Signals.